What's up, Hikikomori Archivers? You're the true Hikiko fans, you know that? You dug deep and you found my secret channel. So today, we're showing off the missing JJ Macfield in the Island of Memories. Got a physical release, and this is from Limited Run Games. Sure took him a long time. That, you, I'm sure you hear that with every limited run games review here, but we got some artwork on the back. That's the Hair Shrieker, the main antagonist. And we have Sleepy Time Donuts here. Focus. Well, let's, get, let's get that up closer, huh? A little intimate shot. So we got the Hair Shrieker, Sleepy Time Donuts, which is like a little in-universe mascot. Right there, the missing. I do kind of like that punch out style logo. I'm a fan of that. I can't ever get it right myself. We got one of those spider babies from the game. There's FK on the side, FK. And I think that's it. <laughs> Nothing on the bottom. This is, this is a bottom. I, like it would lead you to think, like, oh, I got the missing. I finally got this game, right? And you think you could turn it around and there would be something, but no. <laughs> it's just the bottom. Yeah, I guess there's a bit of FK's tail right there. All right. We got copyright White Owls and Arc System Works made in China. This is the missing limited edition. Uh, this is the PS4 version. I believe there was also a Switch version. It's a sweary game. It's quite short, around four hours. I initially purchased it on Steam, but I wanted to have a physical version. Had to have it. <laughs> Let's see what's inside this box. The trick here to opening any box, and if you get any limited edition, you can borrow this technique. I look for a seam up top where I can stick a blade. So this one has one of those plastic seams here. This is where you can open it without doing too much damage. I tend to just stick it in and gently glide the blade. If this one has a protractor on it, so if you do it too crazily, it'll pop back in. So there we go. We didn't damage anything. This is the worst part though, is just pulling. Okay. And then gently unraveling it. I tend to keep these though, whenever I buy a limited edition, I'll just keep it around and then I'll just tuck it back in after I get the game out. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to open this. I think it's just like a shoebox style. There we go. On the inside, right there, some, let's see here. That's that crazy Dr. Muth. Shocks administered. Major hemorrhage. Ooh. First and foremost, we have the game itself. Um, to my knowledge, Best Buy is also selling The Missing. So uh, Limited Run Games has a partnership with Best Buy. So I guess there might be a cover variant over there, or if you just want to pick this up and not wait a year <laughs> or pay eBay prices, uh, you can go to Best Buy and get it. But yes, that's a copy. Uh, I do love this artwork. It's probably one of the better covers for Swery's games. I mean, D4 never got a physical release and most all of Deadly Premonition's covers are ugly. Extermination, kind of ugly. But yeah, I, I really enjoy that. It's it's a great game. I got a review up on my channel. If you... Next up here. Oh, this is awesome. So this is FK. FK is JJ's doll slash the Forest Case in uh, inclusion. It's a motif. He's basically a motif for Swery's games, but um, he is so ugly. <laughs> Uh, he's got like a candy cane tail. I think he's missing an eye. Like this looks like a one of those 
knockoff. You ever go to an anime convention and there's somebody selling those knockoff plushies? FK looks like one of those. I'm sure he's filled with syringes and straw and the tears of the factory workers all in one. Uh, he's got an antler up top. Yeah, honestly, this looks very cheap quality. Uh, but, I mean, I guess it's cool. I can ha I'll, 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 I think I'll keep him out. Maybe you'll see him in the background of one of my videos at one point. Uh, I'm still partial to my Finny the Fish. Let me go get that. This is my Finny the Fish. It's one of my favorite little collectibles. It's one of the most uh, obscure PS2 games. You play as this little fish who goes, I think it's like Finny the Fish and the Seven Wonder Herbs or something. <laughs> Maybe that's kid cool. But look how bright and colorful he is. He's so cute. Compared, I don't know, FK looks just very downtrodden. <laughs> he looks like he's a hand-me-down kind of doll, but I guess that plays into his personality in the game. He's very abrasive, but all right, cool. Got an FK doll. Here comes the best part. Right there, we got, right here, we got a Sleepy Time Donuts. Uh, that's... Once again, one of the in-world items. You collect these donuts and you unlock costumes. It's also a stress ball. My uh, A Rose in the Twilight came with the stress ball. It's like a golem one. This one, this one feels very good and it's cool to the touch too. Uh, I don't own many stress ball things, but I should. Let me compare. So this is my golem from Rose in the Twilight. I got that with the limited edition and he is, he's a tough guy. Very hard to crush, but uh, I just like it. It's very unique and uh, comes straight from the game. It's like something you can't get anywhere else in this world. And this, this is just kind of a generic pink donut. <laughs> like I'm sure you can find something similar uh, just at a local hobby shop. So, I mean, I gotta say, I paid a lot less for this guy. I paid way too much for this guy. <laughs> Here's the Sleepy Time Donuts. I guess this is a keychain. What is it? Are they, oh, they're just magnets, I think. You just put them, they're not a keychain. I think they're a magnet or maybe that's a sticky thing. Uh, do I have some metal? They're not, <laughs> they're not magnets. I guess they're just, maybe there's some adhesive on the back. I don't even know. Do you just set them on something and you set them on a stack of paper? What do you, what do you do with these? They're cool. I mean, they're well designed for the Sleepy Time Donuts mascots there. Also they're emotes you can use on JJ's phone. That donut will flip you off. Do I even have that? Did they include that? And the final thing I have is a set of original missing stickers. I think that's cool. Uh, I don't know if I'll put them up anywhere. They're a tad wrinkly too from travel. <laughs> Despite the partition that they made for this, it didn't really help all that much. But uh, yeah, I mean, they look nice. I do like that uh, pink decal of the logo there i wish that was included on the cover of the box anyway uh that's it <laughs> i waited over half a year and i paid way too much money i think i paid like 120 dollars. so here it is all the stuff depressing fk outside of the cool box which has a little dent in there from travel uh there's nothing in there that really excited me. Maybe the stickers, <laughs> the doll looked cheap. Uh, the donut itself seemed quite generic. I don't know why I keep buying this. I mean, if it wasn't for Swery, if Swery didn't have his name attached to this, I probably wouldn't have purchased this by itself. Uh, I don't know why I keep buying limited run stuff thinking it's gonna be any different. Just an artwork would have been nice, like an artwork workbook or maybe some sort of journal like swear he keeps documents on every game he's ever made uh, but he didn't have anything like that in there there's just really nothing unique no soundtrack the soundtrack's pretty good too uh it would have been nice to see some concept art anything but 
it's just as generic as they come <laughs> I'll, I'll keep it up i do like the box the box is nice there's no poster i would have liked a poster something uh, but maybe it's my mistake for buying it knowing full well that there was disappointment in that box anyway see y'all next time